Okay, this is my favorite segment of the morning because canines from several states are going to be in Gonzales today through Monday for a big competition. We have retired show dog Astro and his owner, Carl Grand. They're here to tell us about the Working Group Dog Show. And this is going to be an, an inaugural event for you guys. That's correct, Roger. Good morning. Good morning. It's the uh, inaugural Mississippi Gulf Coast Working Group Club Dog Show. Uh, specifically for the working breed, which makes up 31 dogs, which you see most of them behind us here. And for people who may not know that, you know, there are so many different breeds, and all the breeds have a different category. What makes a dog a working group dog? Working group dogs are very tenacious. They are very alert. Uh, they do everything from rescues to uh, guarding life and property. Uh, yeah. They handle it all. They're, they're what's w what we call the lunch bucket group. Yeah, so more of your big dogs, so we won't see like right. any chihuahuas or no. any of the Yorkies at this competition. Smallest uh, dog in the working group is the German pincer. Is the German pincer. Mm -hmm. So what makes, like, when, when judges are watching these types of dogs, because if we were to bring four or five different Astros in here, because he's a, uh, what type of husky is he? He's Siberian husky. He's a Siberian husky. Mm -hmm. What is it that the judges are looking for? Because if you line up four or five Siberian huskies, you're going to be like, they all look the same. So what would the right. judges be looking for? The judge is going to see, in his mind, which dog comes closest to the breed standard that the Siberian Husky Club of America, who is the parent club, mm -hmm. has, uh, in, in writing, has said this is what the perfect Siberian Husky should look like. Okay, so they're looking for the breed standard Correct. of that. And uh, whoever wins this competition, will they go on to, I guess, maybe qualify for the big show, for the big AKC show, or how does that work? Uh, it will award points. Uh, there are, I believe, uh, 95 entries just in the working group. So, uh, you know, those dogs will earn uh, points that would uh, accumulate toward an invitation possibly to Westminster, which, of course, is in three weeks. Okay. And then uh, possibly the AKC National Championship in Orlando at the end of the year. Okay. And so when these dogs go on there, well, having a dog itself is a big responsibility, but when you get into the show ring, it's a bigger responsibility. It is indeed. I mean, uh, it is possible... Uh, uh, the, jo the joke is, if you want to become a millionaire in the dog show world, be a billionaire first. Ah, because it's it very expensive. It's very expensive. Uh, it has been known to uh, take upwards of $100,000 or more just uh, to get word out that your dog is uh, a candidate to yeah. uh, be looked at seriously. Because there's going to be a new breed. Well, it's not necessarily a new breed, but there's mm -hmm. going to be, we, I think we have a picture of the Danish, the Swedish farm dog that you all are going to be showing there. Can you right. explain that? The Danish Swedish farm dog is what's considered in the miscellaneous class right now. Now, he will not show at uh, major shows, but uh, once the Danish Swedish farm dog meets AKC requirements, they will be admitted into the working group as the 32nd member. Okay, because there's currently 31 members, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of people want their breed into Absolutely. AKC. Do Absolutely. you think a popular breed right now is, of course, anything involving the doodle, the labradoodle, the cockadoodle? The you think the AKC no. is going to recognize that? No. No. Uh, the uh, in fact, the uh, Golden Retriever Club of America has already come out against ah. uh, recognizing any of the doodle breeds. Oh, so the doodles aren't going to become AKC registered? Huh? No. Okay. So just tell us when uh, is the event, and can the public go out and just watch the dog show? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, now, the Jambalaya Cluster Dog Show starts today. Mm -hmm. uh, it involves the North Lake Kennel Club of Covington, the Baton Rouge Kennel Club, and the Riverside West Kennel Club of New Orleans. Okay. Now, our show will be Sunday. Uh, we'll start uh, roughly around 9 o'clock in the morning and go all day. And uh, we invite the public to come out and uh, see these wonderful dogs in action and just uh, have a good time. Okay. Because it'll be at, at the Jambalaya Center? Is that where it's going to uh, be? It'll be at Lamar Dixon the in the 4-H building. The Lamar, Lamar Dixon 4-H building. Of course, we post all the times and all that on our website. Because you were telling me that it took four hours just to get Astro ready <laughs> to get his coat all fluffed. Good dog.